So you've actually already gone, uh, Zach, and yeah, and you yeah. had you had a wheel issue. Can you explain that? Yeah. Detail? So uh, so our track system is kind of inspired by a design we saw at Vermeer uh, Corporation, and and we designed that last fall in our uh, senior design class, and we had it all together and, and functioning well. Uh, tested on the beach earlier this week. And uh, it came down to a little Loctite on a screw. Uh, one of our screws backed out, and uh, the track system fell apart. So you say you tested on the beach? Yeah, we tested on the beach. <laughs> you didn't yeah. put it in the water, did you? Uh, we we wanted to, but we restrained ourselves. <laughs> maybe that's where the wheel yeah. issue went. Yeah, 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 yeah that, that might have been. That's so right. a little seashell or something, maybe. Doing so. donuts on the beach. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's good. Now, yep. Shibla, you're from Bangladesh. That's right. From Brack University. That's right. And but you haven't gone yet. Right, so we would be going uh, this afternoon, just within a, within an hour or two, and we're very excited. Uh, we did have a few issues during the practice, and we hope we have solved this issue. Are you nervous? Uh, not really, but we're very excited to try it out. <laughs> now, Shibley, you did have a practice session. Were you able to collect any regolith during your practice session? Uh, during our practice session, we could get out in the mining zone and collect, but unfortunately, I got stuck in the boulders, so we couldn't really come back to deposit, but the excavation system worked pretty well. Oh, nice. Now, are you the driver for your team? I will be with the driver, <laughs> so sometimes I might be driving and operating some of the components. And how do you decide who drives for the team? Uh, for our team, we took the guy who is expert in video games. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are using uh, joysticks to control the whole robot the joystick is connected with the laptop and we can also control it with the laptop so simultaneously two persons can actually control the whole robot the redundancy is for our safety so that if something fails that we can recover now Zach do you have any advice for Shibley now that you've already gone and he has it I think one of the biggest things that we've discussed since our competition attempt was uh, to come back next year with an optimized robot and not not a redesigned robot from the ground up. Right. Um, just optimizing the systems we currently have and uh, spending a lot of time testing the robot that we have right. next fall. That's so. actually bring up a good point because you got to make that decision. I mean, do you come back with a completely different design? Because I mean, the tendency is I see a lot of you guys going around to the different uh, pits and taking pictures of other teams' uh, excavators. You're probably wondering in your mind, is that one better than mine? Is, is, <laughs> is that the design to go to? But, that, but that's a good point about you sticking to your design, just optimizing it, and then coming back strong next year. And yeah. of course, uh, Shibley, you had uh, some challenges getting materials for your, for your robot, and that actually dictated how you design, correct? That is true. So when we were designing, we had to consider what is available near us, because a lot of things are not there, and then we had to think about shipping it here. <laughs> uh, we had to think about how we were going to dismantle it, and uh, distribute the weight in our luggage so that I can, we can bring it in the flight. <laughs> so we actually did a pretty good job and it's, it's there and we came on the first day on 23rd and we assembled it within two hours. That's got to be pretty amazing checking a <laughs> Lunabotics uh, mining robot. <laughs> at see, the, see at the I had a lot of creativity in finding the parts for your, for your uh, excavator. That's right. So when we started the design, we didn't really know what's available. And the, the most interesting thing is that in our team we have no mechanical engineering students okay. so we are all electrical engineers and just one me who, who is computer science student okay. so we didn't really know how to proceed but we made our design we figured out that there's nothing available near us so we can use so we redesigned it and this is actually the seventh design that we have we had a lot of challenges but we figured things out when we were testing in our country it worked perfectly what would be the biggest thing that you've gained from this experience here at Lunabotics? Oh boy, um, I think just for all the, the engineering students to actually take something from design concept to fabrication and then also you know get to test it and not only just test it but test it in you know the lunar simulant that's completely different from sand. Just getting to, to see that all the way through the process I think um, is, is just essential for almost any engineering student and unfortunately you know not many engineering students get the, the opportunity to come to a, a competition like this and and be able to do those things. So we are working in a physical environment and over here to get an experience you actually need a first-hand experience which we are getting it here now and it was really great to learn from all these schools because we see that someone who have a similar design that similar principle that we had in our robot and they did they actually excavated the most <laughs> amount of regular so we are pretty confident that the, our design is good and we just need to optimize it. Do you think anyone's going to top 237.6 kilograms? 
we were pretty impressed to see that. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty amazing. That was a beast, wasn't oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's pretty unpredictable. That's right, that's right. We never knew in the practice who's gonna top 200. <laughs> now, last year, I think there's what 22 kilograms yeah, was the maximum kilograms. collection, mm -hmm. and you go from that to 237. That's yeah. that's pretty impressive. And, and so not only if the rate is the same, next year someone's gonna pick up two tons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's absolutely. Fair.